So here I'm just um, starting to figure out um, my plan for the collage portion of this project. So I printed out my picture of my lion. I just took a picture of it and you want to make sure that you're in good lighting to do so. And then you're going to print it. I printed out a few copies so that I would have enough to take up um, some a good amount of room in the middle of my 11 by 14 piece of paper. So right here I'm just um, deciding what I want to do with my collage and you can see that I wrote wing because at first I was thinking about maybe doing a bird because I love birds and I also love wolves are my other favorite animal so it's kind of in between those two things and I saw that shape that I outlined on the side and thought maybe that could work as wing so right now I'm just showing you that two ways you can break it up is you can break it up into big sections like I did with the little wing bit on the side or you can go in and outline the colors like right now I'm outlining yellow and then you can outline brown and cut those up and break out throughout the whole piece so do this throughout the whole painting and then separate them into piles so then you can select from the piles to start building up your subject matter. So I decided to break mine up into different piles so we have the brown pile on the right and the pile of white pieces on the left and then on the bottom we have the yellow pile and I decided that I wanted to make a wolf because I thought that'd be a pretty cool transition from lion to wolf because they're kind of similar looking and they're both my favorite animal so I'm just showing you that I did that right here. And I just put this clip in because this piece I cut up looked like a giraffe. So now I'm just taking a piece of the white paper that I had separated and I'm uh, just drawing some eyes that I'm going to be using to make my wolf um, just so I have a little bit of an outline for the finer details that I'm doing. So I'm just putting that and placing the eyes where I think I want them to go and I'm just planning it out a little bit before I start gluing and then once I think things look okay, um, I'm going to start gluing them down. So right here I found these pieces of the brown that I separated, so I'm going to use those as the outline for the nose, and then I found this other piece that already kind of looked like what a wolf's snout looks like, so I'm putting that in right there and kind of just using some of the little brown pieces to build up the nose a little bit more. Um, right there I was just measuring where the, um, the, the bottom of the snout will go like kind of where the mouth is and uh, where the like the whiskers will be and everything um, and then here I'm putting in some of the brown for the details in the eyes and I'm just using my paintbrush and my glue to start gluing the things down that I know I'm gonna keep And now I'm just continuing to glue and sticking down some little details. I found these, um, the orange parts that I cut out and separated and that piece fit really well right there. So I decided that that's where I was gonna put it. And for this one, I'm just putting some big globs of glue where I'm going to paste it down. It's, it's a little bit easier because my paintbrush was really small. So and then I'm just adding um, those lighter pieces, measuring and then cutting where I see it needs to be cut so it fits in really well. I'm using my fingers to smooth that out but you can always use your paintbrush or just paint right on the back of the pieces that you're gluing down. So now I'm just starting to build up the face. You can see that I added some more of the light orange yellowy color to the bottom of the mouth and now I'm just laying out where I think the edges of the face are going to go and I just panned up a little bit to show you that I did the same thing for the ears and those two big pieces right between the eyes um, just to give it some more definition and make it look more like a wolf so now I'm just laying those out and I'm gonna glue them down as I go
So this is my final product for my collage and um, I basically just kept using the darker pieces to outline and then filled them in with the printed out uh, pictures of my painting. So I wanted to keep one side kind of busy looking and the other side with a little bit more of the paper showing through. So uh, that's what I did here. I think my favorite part are those two lion heads that are kind of adjacent to each other at the top. So there is a lot of white space, but I thought that that would look good because there wasn't a lot of white in my original painting, so I was going to need to use the background to help me out with that. So yeah, this is my final collage and I'm really looking forward to seeing what you all come up with.